On the Manage and Design Book page, we'll set up the book in individual sections. We can also assign different sections to different users and check out individual sections for editing, in addition to performing various other organization tasks. The amount of functionality that you see on this page is based on the user role that you've been given. Some users will have more functionality available here than others. Over on the right, we have a yearbook ladder, which is basically just a layout of the organization of the book. If we scroll all the way down, we'll see this is a 120 page book. And I've got 53 pages so far that have been assigned with different sections. I can cross reference the colors and see what these sections are, or I can click on an individual section on the ladder and go directly to that section over on the section list. If I want to add a new section, I click on the new section button. The new section dialog comes up and I could give my new section a name. I can set the number of pages for the section. And I can also choose a theme. The software has a number of built-in themes that already contain design styles so that you can get a really good head start on the design of your page. Or if you prefer, you can choose none and start with blank pages to design. Review the content reference guide to see all the content and themes that are available in the software. Finally, you can choose a color code if you'd like, or the software will choose one for you. When you're done setting up your section, click OK and the section will get added to the list. The software automatically assigns the page numbers for the section and puts it at the end of the book. If you'd like, you can drag the section and move it into another place in the book. It will be updated on the yearbook ladder and the software will update the page numbers. The status column provides an indication of the current status of each section of the book. Given that this is a live book with multiple users, you might see different statuses for each section each time you log in. A status of in progress means the section has been started, but it's not being worked on right now. If you have the privileges to edit this section, you can click on check out for editing and launch this section into the editor where you can begin working on it. A status of checked out means that someone's already working on this section. When a section is checked out, no one else can check it out. A status of complete means this section has been finished by the designer and is waiting on an advisor to review it and provide comments. Finally, a status of reviewed means that this section has been completed and approved by an advisor. It's waiting for all the other sections to be reviewed and then we have a finished book. Clicking the preview button for any section will allow you to bring up a live preview of that section and also scroll through and view the entire book. Similarly, checking the Show Images checkbox above the ladder will also generate thumbnails of the exact book as it sits right now. Both of these are a great way to check progress of the book. If you have editor or advisor privileges, you can click on the gear icon and bring up a menu where you can make various adjustments to that section. If you click on Settings, you can assign individual staff members to work on the section. Each staff member, as set up on the Manage Users page, will show up here. If you check the box, that adds privileges for that staff member to be able to work on this particular section. If you want to add pages to the section, you can simply adjust the number of pages here. If you want to change the name of a section, you can do it here. And when you're done, you can click OK. Clicking on the gear icon and then arrange pages allows you to rearrange the pages in the section. Click OK when you're done. Clicking on split allows you to split the section into two pages. You can select the page where you want the new section to start and then click OK. This section will now be split in two at the designated point. If you want to merge sections, you can click on merge down and merge this, the section down with the one below it. These sections are now merged back together. Finally, you can delete a section by clicking on delete. You'll need to type yes to confirm that you want to delete this section. Note that all pages in the section will be discarded and you can't undo this action. So be sure that you want to delete a section before you go through this process. Type yes, click yes, and the section will be deleted. When you want to design a section, click on check out for editing. This will launch into the editor where you can work on this section. You'll see check out for editing for any sections that you have the privilege to be able to check out and work on. 
When you've worked on a section and you'd like to submit it to an advisor for review, click Mark Complete. That will change the section to a complete status and will also email the advisors. The advisors can then log in, view the section, and change the status or send you comments back. Finally, whenever there's a comment on a section, you can see a little alert icon here. If you click on Info, you can see the complete history of the section, and you can also see the most recent comment. If you'd like to, you can type in a comment and click the comment button, and your comment will become part of the record. This is a great way to collaborate with multiple users in the design of a section and the overall book. When you're finished on the Manage and Design book page, you can click the Home button to go back to the main dashboard or log out.